And here should be the Angstrom MGC square one. So we get this nice bag, black caps and a screwdriver, an Angstrom card, a stand, and the cube. So first turns. So out of the box, it's really fast. It's way faster than my other MGC. It's a lot less controllable. The slice, it's really smooth. On mine, sometimes in the middle, there's a small bump, sometimes, not always. On this one, it's perfectly smooth. So this cube is really good. My only problem with it is that, A, the, there's no magnets in here, I might have to mod it, and that it's just way too fast, in my opinion. A lot of people like the square ones really fast, but personally, I don't, so I'm probably gonna have to seal this down with probably Gravitas. So I've had this cube for a couple days now, and I've been able to break it in a lot, so here are my final thoughts. It's really fast, and combined with the weak magnets, it makes the UD layers completely uncontrollable. So I double stacked the magnets in the corners, which helped a lot for controllability. So the turning is really nice. There's no annoying bump in the middle of the slice, which happens a lot in my old one. And I can execute augs a lot better than I used to on my old one. Another thing I should note is that it feels kind of dry, especially after break-in, but this doesn't really impact your solves, so it doesn't matter that much. So yeah, this is a really great cube. I'd recommend it to anybody who's serious at getting better at square one. You can buy this cube at thecubicle.com, and it's $28.50 if you use code RPCubed at checkout. That's it for this video, so here are some solves.